Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be preparing some buffalo chicken. So what you're going to use is to clean the chicken is salt and vinegar and water. I already cleaned it. So, yeah. And then you want to pat your chicken dry. I already did that. And then you want to get a bowl so you can add the seasonings to your chicken. Okay, so these are the seasonings that I used. You can use any seasonings that you want, but I like to use these. So I use Creole seasoning. Obey. It's not only for people, but we're using the chicken too. Some paprika. Some onion powder. Some adobo with pepper. That's Italian seasoning, but it's, it's kind of cut off, but that's Italian seasoning. And garlic powder. And black pepper. Okay, so you take the bowl of chicken and you put it inside the bowl. So I start off with the seasoning. And you just put the chicken in the bowl and then put. You know, black people, they don't measure. So, you know, you just eye it out how much you want into your meat. Like, you don't have to use all these seasonings. This is just my personal, like, what I like to use. So then, as you can see, all the seasonings are in the bowl. Then I add my hot sauce and chicken wing sauce, marinade, which is also kind of spicy. You can use any hot sauce you want, so... That's what I choose. And then you can put as much as you want. And then I added garlic and onion. Just my preference. And this is going to be oven bake buffalo chicken. So I just marinate it. And then. So you're going to want to marinate for 30 minutes to an hour. If you're in a rush, 30 minutes. Preferably an hour. Okay, so you want to get a foil pan and some oil and foil sheet paper. I like to use olive oil. And these are the sheets that I use on the foil to cover the pan. So you're going to go ahead and put the oil in the pan and then add your chicken. So I place the chicken in the pan. And don't add any water. The chicken is going to create its own juice. So then you want to go ahead and cover the chicken and then place it in the oven for 400 degrees for an hour and a half. Take it out and it looks like this. You want to drain the water, most of it out, and then flip it. So, yeah, this one's going to get a little bit crispy. So you drain it out. I'm flipping the chicken right now, so... And then you want to cover it and put it back in the oven. This is me. Okay, so I covered it now. And when I clean up, clean the area, wash the bowl you use, put away your seasonings while it's on the oven. So I took the chicken out. Now this, this is it. I put more hot sauce on it because I had drained it out. So, you know, you got to put the flavor back in. And this is like the last 20 minutes of it. So, so you're just going to put your hot sauce back in it and make
mix it. So for the last 20 minutes, you and I leave it uncovered. So after you put the hot sauce back in it, leave it uncovered. Then put it in the oven again for the last 20 minutes. And let it get cooked. I kind of messed up in the beginning because I added hot sauce for flavor. But it was like all the water was there. And I like to drain the water out. So it's like you got to put the flavor back in. But. This is my first time doing this type of voiceover video, so bear with me. You know, hopefully I still understand it, what I'm saying, and everything like that. But go ahead, if you're enjoying this so far, give this video a like and subscribe. And comment down below, what's your favorite hot sauce? And you could pair this with ranch or buffalo cheese. I prefer ranch. Comment down below what kind of sauce would you like with your hot wings. And also, I'm making fried plantains. If you want to see how I make my fried plantains, please comment down below. Okay, so I meant to say blue cheese. My bad. But um, So yeah, this is how it looks in the end. You want to get your parsley and sprinkle it on top for garnish and extra flavor. And this is how it came out. So this is the ending result. I made some fried plantains with it. And this is my ranch sauce on the side. So you can use whatever dipping sauce you want to use. And you can make this with rice, french fries, like whatever side order you want to use as well. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like this video. Comment below any video ideas you want to see. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.